12 Actionable Tips Characteristics of a Self-Righteous Person Characteristics of a Self-Righteous Person the Characteristics of a Self-Righteous Person Picture this, you're having a conversation with someone who seems to believe they have all the answers, and that their opinions and beliefs are the only valid ones. They may be quick to judge others but refuse to accept any criticism themselves. Does this sound familiar? You might be dealing with a self-righteous person. In this article, we'll dive deep into the characteristics of a self-righteous person and learn how to spot them. Characteristics of a self-righteous person Let's think of this table as a gentle mirror that can help us all reflect on behaviors and attitudes. It's not about judging others. It's about being mindful of our own actions and growing towards love and humility. We're all works in progress, right? So, let's unpack this together. Quality of a self-righteous person Explanation Judgmental attitude A self-righteous person often believes they are superior to others and frequently judges people rather than understanding or empathizing with them. Lack of humility They struggle to admit when they are wrong and rarely apologize, as they believe they are typically right in most scenarios. Unwavering opinions They hold strong opinions and are resistant to changing their views or beliefs, even when presented with new information. Moral superiority They often believe their moral standards are much higher than those of others and may use this belief to look down upon others. Critical nature They are quick to point out the flaws or mistakes of others, often without compassion or grace. Defensive posture When challenged or questioned, they might react defensively, viewing questions or different opinions as personal attacks. Selective compassion Their kindness or compassion often extends only to those who agree with them or live up to their standards. Unapproachable They may come off as cold or aloof, making it difficult for others to engage in open and honest conversation with them. Imposing standards They might believe that everyone should conform to their own set of rules or standards, and they may be vocal or aggressive in promoting these standards. Lack of self-examination Self-righteous individuals often struggle with introspection. They rarely examine or question their own actions or motives. After all, aren't we all just walking each other home? learning and loving as we go, it's all about embracing the grace to see where we can soften and open our hearts a little more each day. Like tender gardeners of our own souls, may we all nurture the seeds of humility and kindness within us. 1. A holier-than-thou attitude A self-righteous person often thinks they're morally superior to others. They may look down on people who don't share their beliefs or values, assuming that their way of life is the only correct one. 2. Inflexible opinions. Being open to other perspectives is not a strong suit for self-righteous people. They're often unwilling to consider alternative viewpoints or revise their beliefs, even in the face of compelling evidence. 3. Intolerance and judgment These individuals are quick to judge others, sometimes without even getting to know them. They may label people as good or bad based on superficial criteria or even gossip. 4. Refusal to accept criticism It's difficult for a self-righteous person to accept constructive criticism, as they believe they're already doing everything right. They may deflect blame, make excuses, or simply deny any wrongdoing. 5. A constant need for validation to maintain their sense of moral superiority, self-righteous people often seek validation from others. They may boast about their accomplishments, virtues, or beliefs in an attempt to gain approval. 6. Lack of empathy A self-righteous person may struggle to empathize with others, especially those who don't share their values. They may dismiss the feelings and experiences of others as unimportant or misguided. 12 ways to help a self-righteous person when we encounter self-righteousness, either in ourselves or in others. The Bible offers a wonderful wellspring of wisdom. Think of these biblical approaches like lovingly offered tools in a spiritual toolbox, meant to gently guide us all toward love, humility, and unity. So, let's dive into these biblical suggestions, shall we? Lead by example live a life of humility and love, as modeled by Jesus, Philippians 2 3-5. It's like showing, not just telling. The most heart-touching lessons often come from actions, not words. Gentle correction address self-righteous behavior in a kind and respectful manner, following the guidance of Galatians 6 1. It's about holding up a compassionate mirror, not a hammer. Encourage self-examination encourage introspection and self-evaluation through prayer and reflection, as suggested in 2 Corinthians 13 5. Share stories of grace narrate stories from the Bible that illustrate God's grace and love, like the story of the prodigal son, Luke 15 11 to 32. It's a beautiful reminder that we're all in need of grace. Teach on God's mercy highlight the importance of showing mercy, as God shows mercy to us. Matthew 9 13, it's a two-way heavenly street, after all. Promote a servant's heart encourage the cultivation of a servant-like attitude, just as Christ served others. Mark 10 45. Encourage empathy and compassion point to Jesus' compassionate interaction with people, such as the woman caught in adultery. John 8 1 11. He didn't cast a stone, and neither should we. Pray for humility encourage the habit of prayer for a more humble heart, following James 4 10. 
It's a conversation with the one who shapes hearts best. Study the Beatitudes together encourage a study of the Beatitudes in Matthew 5 3-12, which outlines the blessings of a humble and righteous life. Model forgiveness teach the importance of forgiving others as we are forgiven by God. Colossians 3:13. It's like handing over heavy burdens we weren't meant to carry. Engage in non-defensive listening promote listening without becoming defensive. In line with James 1:19. It's the art of opening the ears of the heart. Highlight the greatest commandment remind them of the importance of loving God and loving others. As Jesus teaches in Matthew 22:37 to 40, love is the name of the game in God's kingdom. Remember, teaching isn't about proving a point, it's about pointing to love himself. It's about inviting someone to dance to the music of grace that's already playing, rather than forcing them to hear a tune they're not ready for. With patience, love, and grace, may we all help each other grow closer to the heart of God, one humble, loving step at a time. Happy teaching! Steps I can take if I am the one that is self-righteous oh, hats off to you for having the heart and courage to take a look in the mirror. That's a monumental step toward growth and transformation. It's all about tenderly nurturing your heart and turning towards kindness and humility. We're all learning, growing, and stumbling along the way, aren't we? So, let's gently explore this path together with these thoughtful steps. Admit and acknowledge first, give yourself a big hug for recognizing this in yourself. That alone is a massive step. Own it and admit that self-righteousness is something you'd like to let go of. Seek forgiveness pray for forgiveness from God and from those you might have judged or hurt. 1 John 1 9. Practice self-compassion be kind to yourself during this process. You're human, and humans are works in progress. Dive into humility actively seek to cultivate a humble heart. As per James 4 10. Try volunteering or serving others in a way that brings no attention to yourself. Listen and learn practice active and empathetic listening, truly valuing the perspectives of others. James 1 19. Study Jesus' life Immerse yourself in the Gospels and study how Jesus interacted with people. He's the ultimate role model for humility and love. Philippians 2 5. Seek accountability Find a trusted friend or mentor to help you stay on this path of growth. Proverbs 27 17. Regular self-examination Make it a habit to regularly check your attitudes and actions through prayer and reflection. 2 Corinthians 13 5. Pray for a new heart Regularly pray for God to create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. Psalm 51 10. Extend grace to others Practice extending the same grace to others that you desire for yourself. Ephesians 4 32. Apologize when necessary when you recognize that you've been self-righteous. Apologize to the person you may have wronged. Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family. View all posts.